Your Invisible Power, Chapter 3. Today, I want to introduce you to a concept that has the potential to completely transform the way you approach your life and goals. We're diving into the power of your thoughts, a force that can reshape your world from the inside out. This concept isn't new. It's been used by some of the most successful people in history to achieve their greatest dreams. Inspired by Genevieve Barron's timeless classic, Your Invisible Power, we'll focus on Chapter 3, where she reveals how you can harness the power of visualization to turn your desires into reality. Now, get ready, because what you're about to learn could be the key that unlocks the future you've always imagined. So, in Chapter 3, Baron goes deep into the principle of visualization. She teaches us that our minds are the starting point of all creation. Everything you wish to have, to do, or to be must first be seen clearly in your mind before it can ever come into existence. Let's break down the steps she outlines for using this invisible power to shape your reality. Now, Barron starts by explaining the law of visualization, which states that anything you clearly and persistently picture in your mind will eventually appear in your life. Visualization is not just daydreaming. It's a focused, intentional process where you use your imagination to create a detailed mental image of what you want. Now, when you do this consistently, you plant the seeds of your desires into the fertile soil of your subconscious mind. You know, imagine you're building a house. You wouldn't just grab some bricks and start stacking them. First, you would create a detailed blueprint of what that house will look like. You know, things like how many rooms, the color of the walls, the layout of the entire space. Well, visualization works in exactly the same way. It's the blueprint for your dreams. The more vivid and detailed your mental image, the more powerful the impact it will have on bringing your vision to life. Next, Barron emphasizes that to make your visualizations more effective, you must concentrate all your mental energy on your desired outcome. Now, this means eliminating distractions and focusing solely on what you want to create rather than what you fear or what others expect from you. You see, she reminds us that scattered thoughts weaken our creative power, while focused thoughts magnify it. You know, I mean, think of your mind as a camera. If the camera lens is out of focus, the picture becomes blurry, right? But when you adjust the lens and zero in on what it is you're taking a picture of, every detail will become sharp and clear. Well, your mind works in the same way. When you concentrate on a goal with laser-like focus, you bring it into sharp detail, making it easier for the universe to help you achieve it. Now, one of the most profound points Baron makes is about the importance of emotion in visualization. She explains that it's not enough to simply see your goals in your mind's eye. You must also feel the emotions associated with achieving it. And joy, excitement, gratitude, and confidence, they are all powerful energies that amplify your visualizations and give them life. You know, I guess you'd think of emotions as the gasoline in the engine of your mind. Your visualizations might be the vehicle, but without the fuel of emotion, it just won't go anywhere. When you vividly imagine your goal and feel as though you've already accomplished it, you trigger a powerful response in your subconscious mind. This is what propels you forward motivating you to take actions that align with your vision. And she also mentions belief. Belief is the cornerstone of the creative process, according to Berend. She urges us not only to believe that our goals are possible, but to expect their realization with absolute certainty. 
Expectancy is like the magnet that pulls your vision out of the invisible realm and into the physical world. When you doubt your vision, you create a barrier that blocks its path to you. So, let's say you plant a seed in your garden. You water it, give it sunlight, and care for it because you believe it will grow into a plant, right? Well, you wouldn't keep digging it up to check and see if it's growing. You'd expect that with the right conditions, it will flourish. The same principle applies to your goals. You plant them in your mind, nourish them with belief, and have unwavering faith that they are growing, even when you can't see the progress. Now, as we come to our journey through chapter 3, I want to leave you with a profound reminder. Your mind is the architect of your reality, and visualization is the blueprint that brings your dreams to life. You have within you this incredible ability to create anything you desire, as long as you see it clearly, feel it deeply, and believe in it without doubt. The process of visualization isn't just about seeing your future, it's about experiencing it in your mind so vividly that your reality has no choice but to catch up. So here's my challenge to you. Dedicate a few minutes every day to practice visualization. Close your eyes and see the life you dream of in full color. Feel the emotions of living that dream, the excitement of success, the joy of achievement, and the gratitude for having made it. As you open your eyes, then carry that feeling with you throughout the day and take inspired actions that align with your vision. Remember, your invisible power lies not just in imagining what you want, but in believing that it's already on its way to you. Don't be surprised when your life begins to transform in ways you've never imagined. As Baron taught us, when you focus your thoughts, align your emotions, and expect the best, the universe conspires to make it happen. Now, go out and create the life you've always dreamed of. What will you choose to visualize today? How will that picture change your tomorrow? The answers are in your hands, your mind, and most importantly, your heart. Thank you for being here today and remember, your invisible power is always with you, waiting to be unleashed. Tomorrow we'll discuss chapter four. Have a beautiful day, my friends. Take care.